Forget the fork, we got much better tools up in here in PT's kitchen. What is that? Who? <laughs> I made that? I know y'all wanna bite. Look at me, I'm over here cutting grape. This does not taste like Sour Patch Kids. I'm gonna be really mad. Cheers for better days. What are you two? PT in the cup. Welcome back to the channel. I said, welcome back to the channel. The bridge is back and you already know what's going on. Today, PT is going to be chefing it up and I'm going to be testing some viral TikTok food hacks. And you know, the sad thing is, no one's here right now. So I'm going to be cooking it up by myself. No one can try my wonderful, delightful, amazing, extravagant food. But it's okay, more for me. So anyways, y'all, if you're new here, subscribe, we lit. If you're a regular, you already know what to do. Hit the like button, comment down below. We about to get into this. Let's get it. Did you know that if you put a drop of lime juice on a half slice of a grape, it will taste like Sour Patch Kids? Mm. <laughs> All right. From homie's reaction, it was probably busted. Mm. So we're turning grapes into Sour Patch Kids? I don't believe that. TikTok, you be capping sometimes. I really don't believe that, but that's why I'm here. And I'm gonna be straight up if it really tastes like Sour Patch Kids or not. Let's get it. All right, let's chop these things up. This better be good. Look at me, I'm over here cutting grapes. Yeah, I feel kind of fancy though. I'm gonna hold like a beauty product. Boy, Can you see that? It's all sliced in half. Cut it in half. Cut the lime in half. Look at this beautiful dish served by PT. We got the lime on the side with the half sliced grape. Okay, for real, let's be for real now. Go on the grapes, go on the grapes. Ooh. This better taste like Sour Patch Kids, I'm not playing. All right, moment of truth. If this does not taste like Sour Patch Kids, I'm gonna be really mad. It's low key hidden. Honestly, it just tastes like grapes with lime on it. It does not taste like Sour Patch Kids, but it's still pretty good and it's so simple all you need is grapes and lime if i were to rate that like as a little snack or whatever it's like a good 7.5 out of 10. okay the first tiktok food hack is out the way let's move on to the next Egg hack time let's make some oreo brownies you need some oreos a mug a fork and milk Look at that, it looks just like chocolate cake or brownie. Mm, 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 mm. All right, listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna try it on, but I know she's capping. I know it is not tasting like no chocolate cake or brownie. Lab pack time. Oh my God. <laughs> I'll play it, I'll play it. Oh, it's holding it upside down. Oh my God. We got God. the Oreos, we got the mug, we got the milk, and we got the fork. So she just dumped the Oreos in here and crushed it with a fork. And she was struggling, so we're gonna switch it up. Yeah, we don't need this. We don't need this, my guy. Forget the fork. We got much better tools up in here in PT's kitchen. I'm gonna throw the cookies in the Ziploc bag. She said, what, six, two, three, four, five, six. We got six Oreos and we're gonna crush it. So I'm gonna just have to move everything to the side because things are about to get a little hectic. Remember when I said I had my own tools? Oh my god. Oh my god. He on X Games mode. Yo, this is already crushed. Like, I did it way faster than her. My man. What is that? Alright. I think it's crushed. Look at that. Beautiful. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's all crushed up in there. You know what, we might need that fork, hold on. All right, so this is what it's looking like now. You know, it's all mixed up with the milk. It looks all chocolatey. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for a minute and I'll be right back. A few moments later. All right, y'all, calm down, calm down, I'm back. I microwaved it for a minute and I didn't even look at it. I want you guys to see it first. How does it look? What is that? Okay, yeah, yeah, it looks like, it looks something like hers. I kind of been hating on it, but I'm not gonna lie. It smells pretty good. It, it smells pretty good. Yo, it looks exactly like hers. Her little brownie or whatever she called it. Let me take another, another bite. Ah, right, you know what? It's really not that bad. Mm. 
All right, so she wasn't capping. It turned out exactly like hers. All you need is Oreos and milk and a microwave. But for a rating, I like the grapes better. So I'm gonna give this like a seven. So the Oreo brownie thing, whatever, is a seven. And the grapes is a 7.5. Let's keep it going. Yo, that drink is way too fancy for me. I'm gonna be drinking with my pinky. Oh, okay guys, I somewhat got the ingredients. I didn't have purple grapes, so we're gonna use the green grapes again. I don't think that should play a factor in it. And I'm using a whole different drink. They used grape juice, but I'm actually using a raspberry drink. But you know, it's the same concept, so we're just gonna test this out and see how it's tasty. Honestly, we don't even need a lot of grapes. I'm gonna just use like four of them. I'm gonna wash it real quick. And we're gonna squish them. So once again, we're in Petey's kitchen and I don't really have that crushing tool that she had. So I got my own tool. I think it should work the same though. So if I break the glass, mom, I'm so sorry. Oh shit. You got squished. All right, that's one out of four. All right, we two for two. Yo guys, this is like a little mini game. This is actually kind of fun. Girl, we got it. We three for three. All right, they're all squished. It's all in there. All right, guys, I filled it with ice, and I got some crushed ice because I'm feeling kind of classy. Oh okay, this is a lot of ice, so I'm gonna just dump a little bit. I think that's perfect. Pour all of it. Yo, that looks so cool. All right, I ain't even gonna cap. Drink better be bussy. All right, so we're just gonna slide it in there. Wait, right, we're gonna slice it in half. Okay, so we got our little lemon bit. Throw it in there. All right, guys, you see the drink? Beautiful. We're gonna add the little, you know, the little thing to the side just because I'm feeling fancy. Thank you, fancy. Cheers for better days. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's good, that's good. All right guys, this drink is 10 out of 10. Oh my goodness. My taste buds are going crazy. Make this drink. It's so good. So I'm actually excited for the next one because the next one was looking pretty good. All right, y'all, that's what I'm gonna be making. And this time, I'm really gonna be chefing it up. So she did kind of like a couple of cuts, so I'm gonna just cut it at random. Wait, did she cut it all the way? No, she didn't. She cut it a little bit in. So we're gonna do that. Perfect. It's like ASMR. Last cut. So it's diced up, it's all cut into like a couple pieces. And you already know PT got the sauce. All right, so now it's time for the pepperoni. We're just gonna slip two slices in every slot. She did two, let's do three. Guys, does it not look the same? You already know it's cheese time. She didn't put any type of pizza sauce under the cheese. Like she just put the cheese straight on the bread. I don't know if I wanna do that. I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce in between the cracks so the cheese can melt on it. You know what I'm saying? A few moments later. So now we got the mozzarella cheese and we're just gonna dash it all over this bouquet. Boy, cheese so we're gonna make sure this is super cheesy you know what I'm saying I might just use the whole bag All right, so we got the pizza bouquet this is all she did and I think she just threw it in the oven I might add some seasoning to it what is that? All right, so we got some seasonings. These were the best ones that I thought were usable for this pizza bouquet. Voila, I throw 
going in the oven. We're gonna turn the oven on. All right, y'all, it's preheating at 425. We're gonna let it sit for like 10 minutes and we're gonna take a little break. All right, y'all, we back. The oven's preheated, you already know. So we're about to put the bouquet on the thing and put it in the other thing. Let's get it. Guys, look at my beautiful creation and all the seasoning on it. I know y'all are hungry. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Come back. Come back. It ain't fitting in there. Right. Oh, shoot. My pizza. All right. I think it's good right here. All right, the pizza's safe. They're gonna let it cook for like 15 minutes. A few moments later. All right, guys, so it's out of the oven, and I'm gonna just let it sit and cool off for a little bit. I mean, mine was way more seasoned, but like the cheese just wasn't cooking the same. But anyways, I used the same ingredients, so it should taste the same. All right, so this is the final product. I let it sit in there for a bit longer to see if the cheese would turn out like hers, but it didn't. It still looks pretty good. I see the seasoning on it. It smells good, like the aroma. I'm getting. But does it taste good? That's the real question. Guys, how do I look? I feel like a whole chef. You know what? I'm not even gonna lie. This looks kind of fire. Oh, I made that? PT made that. I know y'all wanna bite. I know y'all wanna bite. To top it off, I'm gonna get my drink. All right, the drink's still in business. Let's dig in, I'm gonna rate it. Yo, yo, give me that. You can see the steam coming off of it. Oh, it's soft. The bread is soft. Like, as soon as I bit into it, the whole thing just compressed. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. What I like about this is that it doesn't taste like regular pizzas. On a baguette, the bread tastes different from regular pizzas. I'm gonna give it an eight. Nothing less and nothing more. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. That was four TikTok food hacks. I rated them. They're all pretty valid. And you know what? I had fun recording this because I'm eating good. So if you guys want a part two, let me know down in the comments. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Do all of that right now. If you do that, I'll give you a slice of pizza. I'll personally deliver it to your house. That sounded kind of creepy. But that's all for today. I'll see you guys next time.